guys, what's up? Tommy Dunkhouse. Today we're going to talk about some basic tooling. If you don't have any tools, if you're new to working on cars, I'm going to show you a few things that are good to get. If you have a drift car, you just need a packet of these. That's it. Right, see you on the next video. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. Because drifters only use... Alright. So, you don't have any tools. You want to start working on cars. What should you get? Let's just go through a couple of basics. You want some screwdrivers. Now, this was a set that was gifted to me. Uh, it's not the greatest quality, but there's a good selection. And it's always here, ready to use. Get yourself some screwdrivers. Um, I have... These King Chrome ones, they're actually my favourite. They're a much nicer grip and much nicer quality. When it comes to tooling, one thing to consider is you always buy the best that you can afford. So if you have loads of cash and you're just swimming in there and you know making it rain because you're a rapper or something, I don't know, you've got a SoundCloud account and you're killing it, um, just go buy the best you can afford. If you don't have a heap of cash, you've just started an apprenticeship or you've got a, a part-time job, you've just bought yourself your first car, get what you can afford. But don't buy trash, okay? Please don't buy trash. Don't buy stuff that's absolute junk. Try to stick to some sort of brand name. Uh, it doesn't have to be the most expensive, amazing tools. Expensive, amazing tools are expensive and amazing. They're great. If you can get them, get them. If you can't, you can't. Anyway, screwdrivers, get some of them. You're going to want a soccer set. Uh, pretty straightforward. Undoes bolts. You're going to want a pretty good set of spanners. Let's get yourself some spanners. This is just a basic combination spanner. Open end here, ring there. That's a great place to start. If you're working on just Japanese cars, you can get away with a straight metric set. Majority of them are metric. If you're on something a bit different, you may need to get a set that has both imperial and metric sizes, depending on the vehicle you're working on. Allen keys, these don't pop up a great deal in automotive, so you can get them, get them. Um, one thing that is really important, get yourself a light. Lights are great. There's gonna be times when you just need to see to get a light. I don't care what type of light it is, just get one, nice portable one. This one works with uh, the other hand tools, the other Milwaukee's that I got. I can hot swap batteries, so I love this thing. Stands up, does this. You can hang it from things. Wow, look at that. Pretty good to get a light. Uh, another great thing to have is a half inch torque gun. Uh, impact gun, sorry. Um, really good for undoing those bolts that are just a bit too tight. Excellent for taking wheels on and off. Highly recommend getting one. Get a good one. Don't buy cheap trash. I like Milwaukee. If you ask Tommy Dunkhouse, Tommy Dunkhouse will tell you buy the Milwaukee's. They're reasonably priced. Do a good job. No, something else you're going to want to get is a multimeter. You're going to have a few times when you're trying to find some power or find an issue with the car. Great example, if you've just got yourself your first car, you might want to chuck a CD player in it. You're going to have to find uh, 12 volt power and all that sort of stuff. Get a multimeter. They're great. Torque wrench, they're always handy. I personally like to use a torque wrench to do up my wheel nuts after I've changed a set of wheels. Just so I set the 80 foot pound, I know that my wheels are on properly, they're not gonna fall off. <laughs> You're gonna say to yourself, oh Tim, that's silly, your wheel's not gonna fall off. I have several mates that have wheels that have fallen off. So I've seen it being done. We've had to go down there with jacks and things and help them put wheels back on. This is a long, long time ago, but it does happen. Don't be that guy, it's super embarrassing and it hammers your car. Do your wheels up properly. Torque wrench is a good thing. That cost me 80 bucks. Always undo it when you finish using it. Jack stands. Now, you're going to have to jack your car up. And when you've jacked it up, you can't get under the car while it's on the jack still. So make sure you get a decent set of jack stands. These are rated at two ton each. I like this design. I don't like the pin ones that have got a flimsy base. These are nice and beefy. 
I feel safe with them. Get yourself a jack! Woo! This is my jack. I'm gonna break everything on here, putting it on. This is a low profile jack for lowered cars. Get one of these. If you're watching what I'm doing here, you've probably got a cooler car than most. Most cooler cars are lower than most. You need that slim profile. This is a nice light aluminium one, easy to get around. That other style that you see in most shops, they're like really heavy and made of steel and they're about this high and they've got a little thing on them. Don't buy one. I've had several, they always fail. They're total trash. Spend a bit more money, get a good jack, get yourself some good jack stands so that you are working safely under your car. That brings me to the last step about being safe. These aren't a must have, but if you are doing any sort of suspension work, if you're wanting to lower the car yourself, and you're gonna be taking out a set of springs and replacing it with a lowered set, you must have spring compressors. Don't do it any other way. Know what you're doing. Get a mate around who's done it before. Watch YouTube videos on how to do it. It's extremely dangerous. Buy yourself these. They're cheap, they're not expensive. Get the two prong ones. Not something that you must have, but you must have them if you're doing it suspension changes. So that's a quick dirty rundown, nothing too in depth. That's your basics that you want to get. So you're asking me, well Tim, I don't have any tools, where do I start? If you've got absolutely nothing, there is a great way to buy an entire toolbox that has nice little cutouts and has all the spanners and has all the socket sets and it has all the screwdrivers and lots of other little bits and pieces. I recommend that's the way to go. You spend that little bit more money, but it's fantastic. You know where all your tools are, everything has a place, there's a place for everything. That is a great option. If you don't have the sort of cash to just go out and blast 700 bucks or 800 bucks on an entire tool box, pick a project on your car. One I suggest, if you've never done anything on a car before, learn how to do a basic oil change on your engine. So to do a basic oil change, you're gonna need a jack. You're gonna need jack stand, so you can raise the car, put it on jack stand safely, and you're then gonna need a socket set to undo both your sump plug and possibly the oil filter using the little clamp tool. Uh, then you need a container, so, what I'm saying is pick a project that you'd like to do, sit down, work out what tools that you need to do that project, buy those tools, start there, go from there. Let's recap, buy the best you can afford. Don't buy cheap trash. That's about it really. See you next video.